This is a demo of e-prescribing with uh, Allscripts in Crystal. I've already gone to the patient's records. I went to the Drug Rx tab and selected the e-prescribe button to open up this Allscripts window with the patient. Um, before I forget, this is a tutorial link. This uh, videos of various functions within Allscripts. So if you need um, more tutorials, that's where you go. This lists all the patients for the day, so there may be several patients. If you've already prescribed, there might be several listed. The patient that you're on should be selected, but if not, pick them. I usually do the pharmacy next. You click on this, either retail pharmacy or mail order pharmacy. And if the patient's already got prescriptions in there, there might be previous pharmacies listed here, or it defaults to the practice favorites. When you save a, f a new pharmacy, it asks if you want it to be added to your favorites list or you can select all and that'll search all the pharmacies. So let's do Walgreens and I'll pick this one here. If you look over here, sometimes it'll list the cross streets where the pharmacy is. That can be really helpful in figuring out if you got the right one. Um, but select the one that you want, set as patient's pharmacy, and then it'll be listed up here. I select the med, and there's two things you can do. You can select from the patient history. If you've written different prescriptions for the patient, they're a regular patient that's got a chronic problem, you can select that and then go to the drug. Or you can select my history. Those are drugs that you've, uh, prescriptions that you've written, a very various medication. Or you can search all. Now I'm going to search all because I want to show you something. Zalatan. Okay, I've got all meds, search. Alright, you select the one that you want. There's only one here. After you select the drug, it will uh, a generic option will be listed here. And if you want to select that, you can do that. And it takes you to the generic. Okay, so you can select I need solution. These faces they have green, yellow, and red. Uh, it has to do with covered and non-covered and level of um, copay, but they're frequently wrong, and it's, there's no indication of how much it actually cost the patients. Just because it's green does not mean it's going to be inexpensive for the patient. So I select Latanoprost, select SIG. It starts with the preferred one. Sometimes there's multiple uh, options for these. This one's just one. If you want that, you have to highlight it to take it. This gives you a whole bunch of options that you can apply or you can write it freehand, whatever you want. Okay, so I'll do preferred, select that, I'll do a 30-day supply, and this is where it gets kind of weird. If I put two and a half mil bottle, I want one. Okay. It says quantity is three, which is confusing. This has to do with how many mils it is total. Okay, so when it's rounding up to three. If I've got a two and a half mil bottle pack of three, and I hit one again, it changes it to eight. Is doing two and a half times three is seven. So, so this quantity is not the number of bottles; it's the quantity of you know mills in a solution. How many refills you want? If it's a legend drug that you don't want them to dispense generic, then check dispense as written. Okay. So when you're done, you can add it to the script pad, and then you can refuse. Sometimes it says add a new. You can add another one. Okay. If you wanted to add another drug, you can select that again. I want to do that because I want to show you something else. If you se select from your own history, uh, let's do low to max, uh, 15 mil, that's a pretty big bottle. Okay, we don't want to do that much. So I'm going to select that and add and review. All right, now I want to change this to a 5 mil bottle. Okay, so I'm going to edit it and change it to 5 mils. And see, it doesn't do that squirrely thing there. That's okay. Save and review. Okay, so now this is what's going to go to the pharmacy, or you can over here you can select either send to pharmacy, you can print, or patient reported. I don't know what that is. I'm going to print it so that it'll I can show how it goes to Crystal. All right. So when you got it how you want, the drugs are correct. You check you got the patient's name, you got the right pharmacy if you're sending it to the pharmacy. When you're done, you select process from script pad. Okay, and then it lets you print out the prescriptions. Okay, and when you're all done, you um, close it up. 
and it writes those drugs to the patient file. That's it.